Hey guys, I figured today I would go ahead and uh, get into these uh, Canadian IMPs. Uh, I had a great guy, Ted, from Ontario, Canada, and his son, Jonathan, were uh, gracious enough to go ahead and send this to me, and we arranged a, a good trade. So, uh, Ted and Jonathan, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I think what I'm going to do... Uh, I'm not quite sure what the dates on these are. I, I believe they're fairly recent, but I think I'm going to go ahead and start off on this uh, pizza pasta, and we'll save this salmon one uh, for later. So, that being said, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, as my friend Kiwi Dude says, let's crack into this thing. Alright, now, uh, it's got like a pull on here that you can go ahead and tear apart but I'm not too sure I want to go ahead and just thrash this bag all up so I'm gonna just take this little trusty little scalpel knife and cut right in there so there we go Let's see if I can get it out And you can see the bag has a like a foil type lining on the inside to help keep it waterproof. And right off the bat, I see it's like a uh, well, we'll see what it is. There is a, a smell. I don't know uh, what it is right now. Hmm. Okay, this looks just like a like a contents card. Again, it's in English and French. So let's check this thing out. All right, got uh, some napkins, a large spoon to let you get down. In fact, this is considerably longer than an MRE spoon, or at least it, it looks that way. Pack of matches. What do we have here? Some peanut butter. And looking at that date code, it's looking like this is probably from like 2011. And oh, honey, we got some honey on there. Moist towelette. Two packets of instant coffee. packet of sugar. Uh, we've got, what does that say? Two packets of whitener. A beverage bag. Packet of rich crackers. Small like caramel type Hershey bar. I always like these nice touches. Have a toothpick in here. And this one is a fruit punch sports drink. Got two of those. Little sachet of pepper, a little packet. What do we have here? Uh, some hot sauce. And then we have the pizza pasta. I'm assuming that this is probably the gum or a small uh, sweet. No, this is the gum. Uh, and what was the last thing we've got here? Some fruit cocktail. Oh, and another packet of sugar. So let's go ahead and uh, get this all situated and uh, heat it up. Oh, and just so I can show you what the wrapping or packaging of this stuff is, let me just go ahead and rip into it. Again, it's uh, like Baxter's brand. Still pretty soft to the touch. Looks pretty nice. And again, it looks like it was the date code is 2011 on the 83rd day. So like March, April time frame. And let's look at the 
man, if we can get it out. Fruit cocktail. And again, uh, 2011, 164th day. So, all right, again, a Baxter's product. So, uh, let me get this heated up and get the rest of this stuff plated. Okay, let's make the drinks. Go ahead and we'll do the coffee with some uh, sugar and some whitener. And then we'll do the fruit punch. Coffee. Sailboats on the back. Guess to remind you of home and the whitener. And we'll give it a stir. Okay, and instead of just dumping this directly in this, we'll go ahead, we'll use our beverage bag. I remember watching G. Schultz's and thinking that uh, this bag design was uh, better than the hot beverage bag that the U.S. uses. Because just a simple fact that it's got this little uh, spot down here that allows this bag to stand up on its own. So, right off the bat, I think that's a, a good touch. So just like I would with any other thing, I'll pour the, the powder into the bag first. And this has uh, fill lines for you for your powders, your coffees, and, or your beverage powders, like cocoa or whatever. thing. It's got a nice zip and again it's got a little indicators right here for your beverages. It gives a good shape and again you just plop that down you're able to go ahead and just sit it up. You could even drink directly right out of this thing which is uh, really nice. I like that that feature. Okay, let's start getting some stuff on here. Like, there's not like a, a whole ton of stuff to this, but we do have some crackers. And I imagine if you've ever, these are like rich tree cheese crackers. And this is where that smell in the bag was coming from. They uh, kind of have that slight off MRE cracker kind of smell. But we'll give them a try. We have the chocolate bar. And we'll see. Uh, I'm actually surprised. I guess it's Kiwi Dew that has the worst uh, time getting oxidized chocolate bars. So maybe that this was in the Great White North. It, it stored it a little better. So there we go. Uh, I'm thinking the peanut butter. I'll probably try some on the cracker. That's if, uh, if they're palatable. And uh, the honey... Uh, I'm not so sure what you would use it for, you know, whether if you're just going to snack on it for energy or what. So, let me give this a knead. I'll put one on one of these crackers. So, it'll be peanut butter and cheese cracker. Uh, that might be an interesting flavor combination uh, all on its own. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try it. But like I said, these crackers are really uh, putting out a, a pungent odor. So, all right, let me go ahead and uh, this is the fruit cocktail mix. And again, it's got these nice little pull tabs. You can tear them or cut them, whichever you desire. Still smells pretty good. And it looks like peaches, pear, possibly some pineapple, cherries, maybe some mango. 
don't quite see uh, exactly what's on here. It does say that you can boil this or eat it cold. I decided to uh, to go ahead and do it cold. All right, and then we've got the entree, which is the pizza pasta. Uh, this should be interesting. I don't I don't know if this is going to be like a pasta bolognese or or what. Yep, that's kind of what I thought it was going to be. Uh, yep. So get that all in there. That has a really good kind of pizza sauce kind of smell. So set that aside. And big chunks of sausage. So, all right. I'm trying to think if there's anything else on here outside of the gum that uh, I could show you. And that looks about it. Except perhaps maybe this hot sauce. Maybe we'll put a little bit of this hot sauce on this just for uh, some flavor so all right let me go ahead and uh, pour this drink with this bag real quick I gave it an extra shake off of camera and there we go that bag is really handy so I'll probably be hanging on to that like my uh, ADF spoon and, and that kind of stuff so alright let's go ahead and try the pasta with some sausage or pizza pasta that is so there you go there's a nice little gander at it that's got a nice little tang to it uh, when you first bite into it you really don't taste it but right at the end it kind of lingers up on you we'll go ahead we'll try some of this uh, hot sauce on it a little, mm, it's like verde sauce it was like green so hmm and the one thing about hot sauce is I see people do it all the time and again it's it's preference really more than anything else you pour the hot sauce on it and you just eat it because when you mix it in you delete the hot sauce that's why I was told all the when you're doing it wrong brother but it's pretty much to your taste, however you really like it. All right, the hot sauce really gives it a nice kick. So then you get that little zing of the pizza sauce and that uh, kick of the hot sauce. So I enjoy spicy food, so that's pretty good with me. Look at some of this fruit cocktail. Some of it uh, is a little discolored. That's probably because it was sitting on the on the cherries for a while, but it smells just fine. Yep, tastes pretty good, so that's good. Oh, and they got grape in there, too, so, yep, all kinds of stuff. This is the only thing I'm kind of concerned about is this cracker, because that smell, if you could smell this. Yeah, I think the crackers are dead. Uh, 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 I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, these these are, are gone. I had to run back over here and take another bite of this uh, side that had the hot sauce all over it to mask that uh, flavor in my mouth. So, uh, just for uh, sake, I will try some of the peanut butter. Peanut butter is fine, but crackers are definitely dead. All right, now this chocolate bar. So you can see in there. Okay, the chocolate and the caramel, that tastes just fine. Again, we got like regular gum that you can get in any MRE. Let me get this coffee another stir again. See, now it's been sitting there. It's actually probably just lukewarm now. So there we go. Coffee. That's not too bad. And again, our juice. Uh, I pounded some of this down when I had that cracker, so sorry I didn't quite share that with you. And that's got good all-around flavor. And again, this is probably only about six to eight ounces. 
so it's pretty concentrated. But, uh, yeah. So overall, this was uh, what we got here. An IMP from uh, 2011. This was menu number 12, the pizza pasta. So, again, I would like to thank Ted and Jonathan for sending this to me. I'm looking forward to trying the other one. Uh, so, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.